everyone and welcome to the all new Dad Squared Travel Vlog. I am Nick Bryan. And I'm Sean Bryan from Columbus, Ohio. Thanks for joining us in this new adventure as we go in depth on some of our favorite destinations like Disney, Universal, and the cruising line industry. So a little bit about us. Um, we got married back in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done multiple vacations, usually a couple year. Uh, we've been on Carnival Cruises, mm -hmm. Disney Cruises, yep. uh, we've been to Walt Disney World a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, now, a few times. Um, we actually got married at Disneyland in um, California Adventure Park. Um, so after that, we actually took our honeymoon a few months later um, to Australia where we went to Sydney and actually made a stop over New Zealand. Longest flight ever. But we did upgrade. We did. Best decision ever. On the way there. On the way back was a nightmare. Yeah. Never again. Always upgrade when you play international. That's, that's the lesson we've learned. Uh, our daughter Piper joined us in November of 2017. Uh, Piper has been a world-class traveler since the age of four months. Well, not the whole world yet, but I mean, she did join us while we drank around the world at Epcot, so I mean, that counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what are we doing today? So um, today's vlog, we want to talk about some Walt Disney World resorts. Uh, so there is a lot of resorts to choose from at Disney World. So we want to just give you guys a couple options um, to take a look at if you've never been. Um, some of these resorts that we're going to show you today, we've actually not stayed at personally, but um, I got an experience to tour the resorts last month on, a, <laughs> on a special work trip. And um, we've been to some of the resorts for dining locations as well, too. A lot of these resorts have um, great theming behind them, um, closer to the parks, some of them, and some great dining locations. So there's a few different options to choose from. The first um, step when looking at a resort is to take a look to see if you want a value resort, a moderate, or a deluxe. Um, so these offer different price options as well as better amenities. Um, and closer to some of the theme parks. So, um, what is your favorite resort, Sean? Uh, hands down, Animal Kingdom Lodge, uh, John Boat. Uh, I love the lobby. As soon as you walk in, it feels like home. Uh, it's beautiful. I love being that close to all the animals. It's like staying at a zoo and a resort. Uh, a flamingo goes by the pool. Uh, it's just amazing. It's just, it, I can't describe it enough. What about you? So, it's a tricky question because I have kind of favorite resorts in each of the categories um, with probably my top one that I would stay at more often, I guess, would be um, Port of Orleans Riverside. Uh, we've stayed there probably four times now, maybe, since we've been together. Um, Port Orleans is a uh, moderate price resort. It is. Um, easy access to Disney Springs from there. You can just hop on a water taxi to head right over to Disney Springs. Uh, the theming of it is all about New Orleans and um, just feeling like you're in the Big Easy. It's a fun welcome as you walk right in and see people with some Mardi Gras beads on. Um, yeah. Remember that time that you thought you booked us at Port Orleans, but you booked us on the other side? Yeah, so Port Orleans is a little tricky because there's Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarter, mm -hmm. and I accidentally booked us at French Quarter, which is also a beautiful portion of it. It is a little bit on the smaller side, which is why a lot of people do enjoy that resort. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Do you have any favorite memories at a resort? Um, anytime I can lay out by the pool, mm -hmm. uh, watch Piper swim, uh, it's always a good time. Anytime that you're at a Disney resort is a good time. Let me, let me rephrase that. How about you? Um, probably my favorite memory, so before I became a travel agent, um, I booked us to stay at and looking in Lodge through Expedia. And the room that I got was just the cheapest standard room. It said it would have a view of probably the parking lot. And when we got to our room, we had a nice little surprise and we got upgraded to a view with the animals in the savannah. So uh, we got to wake up to some giraffes and 
zebras and... Nick didn't let me feed the popcorn to the giraffes either. No, do not feed the animals at Disney. They are trainers there that tr feed them the proper nutrients of that. So. That giraffe really looked like the one of my popcorn. <laughs> so, um, like I said too, there's also plenty of dining options available in the resort. You can hop over there on the monorail or buses um, or take an Uber over to them. Or a um, minivan. Or minivan. Hopefully they bring them back. They've been off since COVID. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite resort? Or favorite dining, I guess, at a resort? Uh, definitely Boma. Boma all the way. Favorite dining? Boma. What about you? Yeah, so... I don't know. There's... It's Boma. You know it's Boma. It, don't I'm gonna go with Boma. Boma. Boma is... We've done it for breakfast, we've done it for dinner. I would say for breakfast, hands down, is my favorite. I love it. Dinner um, was good, not the good spread. This. Yeah. It's, there's so many options to choose from from breakfast. It's basically brunch, because you can choose between getting a ham or carbs. Whatever those scrambled eggs are with like the goat cheese yes. and the chives. Can't wait. It's I didn't know I like goat cheese until Boma. Yeah. So we are going to talk a little bit about some of the different resorts that Nick got to visit on his last little trip without me. Um, so we have some different categories here we're going to talk about. So the first stop on our resort tour is Disney's Art of Animation. This value resort is perfect for the whole family to enjoy a spacious suite or a standard room. The value resorts are perfect for families on a budget. Here you can step in some of your favorite movies like The Lion King. Finding Nemo, Cars, and Piper's current favorite, The Little Mermaid. Uh, the resort features the largest resort pool in Walt Disney World, uh, and access to the Disney Skyliner, which will transport you and your family away to Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. Today we're stepping into a Lion King suite. The spacious family suite accommodates parties of up to six people. Each suite includes a bedroom with one queen-size bed, one double-size convertible table bed, a double size sleeper sofa, living room, two bathrooms, and a kitchenette. That's a lot in one room and great for the pricing as well too. Alright, so now it's time to head over to a moderate resort. Um, many of these resorts bring in inspiration from various parts of the world with a little subtle hint of Disney. Disney's Coronado Springs has been a favorite among many for years, bringing in a unique blend of Mexican, Spanish, and Southwest American cultures surrounding a beautiful lakeside oasis. The resort recently added in the Grand Destino Tower that gives you a deluxe feel for the price of a moderate resort.
this tower was actually inspired by a Disney short animated film that didn't get created until early 2000s, but actually was started to be produced back in 1946 called Destino. You can find the link below and check it out. If you watch it, hopefully you're just as confused as I was. The nice thing about this resort is the dining location, Toledo. So Toledo is actually 15 stories up with views of all of the Disney theme parks. Um, dining at Toledo is a brand new must-do that we are going to try to do hopefully on this next trip to Disney uh, with amazing food and the views are just stunning. After dinner, you can head over and grab some cocktails over at Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia was actually inspired by the um, film. You can actually see lots of different pictures and um, the dandelions all across the bar. And head out to the balcony where you can see some scenic views and you might even catch some fireworks if you're there at the right time. Alright, next up we are heading to Disney's Polynesian. If you're looking to stay close to the Magic Kingdom, look no further than Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. One of the oldest resorts on the property is also one of the most beautiful. Celebrate the spirit of the South Pacific with its favorite destination since 1971. One of the oldest hidden Mickeys can be found just as you walk into the main entrance. For this one, all you have to do is look down at the floor. I've never seen this one, but I think I was more focused on the food the one time that we were there. With easy access on the monorail or ferry, you can hop right over to the Magic Kingdom in a matter of minutes. This deluxe resort gives you exotic tastes with world-class restaurants like Ohana, or grab a Disney classic treat, the Dole Whip, at the Pineapple Lanai. At nighttime, you can grab a cocktail at the famous Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, which I can't wait for. Then head over to the beach where you can watch and listen to the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Finish your night with Happily Ever After show on the beach inside Ohana or even from the view of your theme park view room. The rooms are spacious with plenty of room up to five adults in each room. Some rooms were recently remodeled to be inspired by Mohana. If you look closely you can see Hey Hey, Pua, or even Maui. Another fun experience you can do at this resort is enjoy a dinner and a show at the Spirit of Aloha. Uh, Nick and I have done this a few times and we have loved it every single time. Can't wait to go back again. You can indulge in a luau with an all-you-can-eat family style food while enjoying some hula dancing, fire dancing, and more.
All right, so we gave you guys a couple different options on a value, a moderate, and a deluxe resort. Um, we do have a lot more to show you guys in some future videos, so be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to us so we can alert you when a new one pops up. Uh, be sure to leave us some comments with any questions you have or anything that you guys want to see as we are traveling back to Disney um, in seven or eight days. Yeah, yeah, pretty soon. So. Um, so tell us what you guys want to see us explore. All right. Uh, this video is sponsored by Sam Piper Vacations. Sam Piper Vacations is a concierge travel agency specializing in Disney destinations, universal, cruises, all-inclusive resorts, and so much more. Visit sampipervacations.com to request a free quote today. Thanks for watching. Hurry back. Hurry back.